This is Basel. And I am a Syrian who fell in love with the Philippines. Yes. I left Syria in 2013, so this coming January it's gonna be like seven years. I left Syria because of the situation, you know, there was war going on in there, so my parents decided that it's more safe for me to leave the country. I know a lot of you know what's going on in Syria. I won't dig deeper into it. We had a very tough time. Bombings started to reach our neighborhood, so we knew it was time to let go. Of course, the challenging part, it started with me when I first came in the Philippines because I had no idea about life. I was basically a teenager, so I don't know how to cook, I don't know how to wash my clothes. It's really hard when you don't see your family for a long time. I had to call my mom to tell me how to cook and what to eat. It was really challenging and it was really tough. I was crying for six months. It took me six months to adapt to the life in here, so now I feel so happy because it feels just like my home. The reason I'm telling you Basil's story today is not to dwell on the past or for you to feel sorry for what he's been through. It's to share how remarkable he's turned his life around and made his home in the Philippines. I ended up studying, learning English, learning Tagalog, and then starting my first business in the Philippines. Inspired to share his story publicly, he picked up a video camera and started posting on YouTube. So my videos are basically about helping Filipinos, fun, and food. This is what I focus on. Almost a million subscribers later, it turned into a career. The first video that got viral for me, it was eating Filipino street food. But making videos is not all that he's up to. Basel has other business ventures, such as this milk tea place on the south side of Manila. Actually, doing milk tea, it was never planned. I didn't have knowledge about making milk tea. I didn't have knowledge about making burgers. I wanted to do this because I know Filipino Filipinos love milk tea and I wanted to deliver something to the Filipinos who I love, something that they also love. Of course, uh, we're making a diner, so this is how a diner is supposed to look like. None of these things in Basel's life would have been possible to accomplish back in Syria. The Philippines has provided him with endless opportunities and stability, and the Filipino people have welcomed him in with open arms. I messaged him, he was doing a vlog around my area in Alabang. So I messaged him if he wanted to tour my village, which is Ayala Alabang. So that's how we met. So I was his uh, subscriber. And then now we became best friends because we both live in the south and uh, he's such a nice guy. He came here knowing nothing about the culture, knowing nothing about everything. I mean, he just came here solo. For me, that's something to be admired. It's not easy to come in a country not knowing anything. Here in the Philippines, they treat foreigners with respect. You walk in the street, you're vlogging, everybody is smiling at you, looking at the camera, waving at you. You guys look right here. <laughs> right? Tama? Hi. Hi guys. Go ahead. How's you get picture? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so continue. So that's the example that I always mention to people. Sometimes you walk in another country, you might see people staring at you, or if you're taking video, they will cover. Here in the Philippines, it's the opposite. People are very kind, very generous, and they are uh, the most welcoming people I have. Been with. It's been great to connect with Basil and hear his story and love for the Philippines, which as you already know, I agree with completely. This country is amazing in every single category across the board, and I'm also excited to visit his country of Syria in a few months. Masaya po ako makasama kayo niyon. Mahal ko kayo. Marami salamat po. I love you so much guys and I love being with you here in the Philippines. Thank you so much. Thank you bro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you man. So we can see they are cooking chicken, nagluto, bago, fresh, tapos mainit, it's also hot. So this only for 65 pesos comes with sausawan, with sauce, mura. Sige, you should know, visit us sa Yolo, ha? Ito, ito yung shop ko. Sige, dinat kayo. Take care. <laughs> Dude, you even got the accent when you speak, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, so do you guys know who that guy is? Yeah. yeah! Who is he? Syrian Wanderer. And what do you like about him? Usong Pinoy. 
<laughs> I like this thing. jersey, guys, because of course I love the Philippines, so I make sure to always have some Filipino damit. Damit, t-shirts. I always make sure to have something on, even flag, even anything. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.